So what we're going to look at here today is something called onshore and offshore breezes or you know, of course the way that I've set them up offshore and onshore breezes and I think the key thing to look at here is the words that I'm highlighting for you to pay attention to is the word on and off because on we usually associate with something being on like light so like the sun and that will actually help us understand on and offshore breezes and off you know we can associate with something like nighttime like going to sleep so again that is going to help us and it's important that you keep that in mind as we're proceeding uh, just so you can get a sense of where I'm trying to take you to help you remember this and the only reason why I'm doing this is because I have a lot of students come and see me and say you know I get them always mixed up I don't know which one is which and that's completely understandable um, because it can be confusing so this is your memory cue and of course just to help us remember I'm going to say right, right here when you're looking at nighttime, of course, what? The lights at night are off. So that will help us remember when we see offshore breezes. And of course, in the daytime, the lights are on. And again, that's going to help us remember onshore breezes. And you're saying to yourself, well, I have no idea what he's talking about because what does that have to do with on or offshore breezes? And we're definitely going to get to that. We're going to talk about that right now. Um, so, again, everything I do is if you're familiar with, with me and you work with me in my, in my classes and stuff, you know I do a lot of, of drawings and cartooning just to help provide visual cues for what you're trying to remember because there is a lot to try to remember and I find it just helps. And so, if you're looking here, at the land that we have here and then of course if we're looking out here we've got our typical water and that is going to represent our ocean of course when you're doing something like this it is equally as important that you throw a shark fin in the water just because that is a necessity and of course, we already talked about this is our land. So here we go. So you have to picture yourself standing here on the beach, wherever it is you are. I hope you're happy. You're on a beach. You should be happy. And um, um, you're just kind of looking out the water. biggest neck I've ever seen. The question you have to ask is, which way is your hair blowing when you're looking out at the water? And here, here's what I'm trying to say is that when you're looking at an onshore breeze, it's moving this way. An onshore breeze moves from the ocean to the land so in this case here you would have your hair blowing like this and when would that be you're standing on the ocean edge of the ocean you have blue hair that's bizarre but you're standing on the edge of the ocean i'm gonna give you some decent hair uh, well, maybe not. i'll give you some black hair okay here you go you're standing at the edge of the ocean and your hair is blowing this way because the air is moving from the water to the land. And why is that? Why is that happening? Well, because as the sun is out, what's happening during the course of the day is that the land is being heated and the air is rising. And as that air rises, it literally sucks the air out because air has to be replaced. So the air that was sitting right here that has now moved up is being replaced by air being pulled off the ocean, which is cooler. So that air is being pulled in that direction. So during the day, the wind is blowing onshore, and that is something you need to know. And why is that? It's happening because the air that was sitting here on the land is moving up into the atmosphere, going up higher because when things heat, they of course go up. 
and we've talked about that already. Now, if we're looking at something to, to explain the onshore, it's the same idea. Onshore breezes occur at night. And why is that important? Well, that's important because um, if you're standing on the beach and you're on your date and you just spent hours and hours doing your hair to um, to go on this date, um, and in the movies you usually see people standing on the ocean, all romantic, looking out, and your hair, if you're looking at the ocean, is literally going to be blowing out this way all over your face, and that's one of those things where it's going in your mouth and it's awkward. So you know at night, the air is going to be rushing from the land over and over and onto the ocean. And why is that? Well, that's because that over the course of the day, when the daytime is happening, right, the ocean the water has actually heated. It's gotten warm. So you've got some real warm water happening here, right? Which is why it's usually good to go swimming in the evening and not first thing in the morning. And then when the night comes out, right, all that warm water, when the air cools, that warm air begins to rise right, as the water cools. Well, once again, as air rises, it has to be replaced from somewhere, so the air is being pulled in this direction as that air is being replaced as it rises. Warm air rises, cold air goes down. So. That's an explanation for you of offshore and onshore breezes. I want to just get across to you the fact that if you can just remember that when the lights go off at night, that's when you have offshore breezes because the ocean water, which was warm during the day, is cooling and it is rising, pulling air off the land. And onshore breezes happen when the lights are on during the day because as the air on the land as the land is being heated during the day and it's rising that air again is being replaced from the air on the ocean 